Remember the new routine you were going for this month? Has it already been derailed? You're not alone. Don't be discouraged. Stay focused on those areas you feel the Lord leading you to make changes and ask Him to give you strength to see and move forward. Take the steps and move into making change. Remember, small, consistent changes lead to big results. Our daily rhythms and routines can actually reveal a lot about what we believe. For example, if we believe daily exercise is good for our health, body, and overall well-being, then we will exercise daily. If we believe spiritual maturity is gained in part through ongoing discipleship, prayer, and Bible study, then we will be disciplined in taking time to do those things. If we believe a faith community is important, then we will actively be a part of one. I could go on and on. The point being, the routines of our life should reflect what we believe to be true. If that's the case, if we took a minute right now to consider our daily and weekly routines, are we living out what we believe to be true? And no, this is not a trick question. This has stepped on my toes more than once this new year as I look deeper into my routine and how I spend my time and how it may be revealing what I am choosing to believe. What am I choosing? And what am I actively not choosing in my daily routine? If you've ever been serious about health and your diet, then you may have had a nutritionist have you keep a daily food journal. The simple task of writing down every single thing you eat and drink, as well as the amount, you would think would be no surprise, but try it. Putting the reality of our choices and even food habits down on paper can be quite a shocker. Rhythms, routines, and life choices are quickly revealed. Some are good, some are not so good. It's not about beating yourself up. It's really about shining light on the reality of how you are living your life, how you are caring for your temple, how you are loving God, and how you are loving others. What or who is the focus of your day? How much time do you spend worrying? What about family discipleship? How much of my self-talk is negative? Am I more critical than uplifting to those around me? Why? Do I create narratives in my mind about others that may or may not be true? If we were to journal some of that out, would the results shock us? What are our rhythms, routines, words, thought patterns, and habits revealing? Our actions speak louder than our words about what we really are believing to be true when it comes to our identity, self-worth, and ultimately what we believe to be true about God. I am convicted when I see my actions aren't lining up with what I say I believe. James 4, 6 says, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. That is the posture I want to start each new day with, a humble heart that is open to the truth and correction God reveals. When awareness comes, that's when I see my sin and pray, Lord, help my unbelief. I know I'm not alone. Psalm 32, 1. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Too often we ignore what our actions truly reveal because the root of it is sin. The sin of not believing God is who he says he is. The sin of not owning our reckless rhythms and routines that have divided our heart ultimately against his will and way for our life. King David knew how that felt. His hidden sins of adultery and murder, as well as his silence over it, drove a wedge between his heart and God's. Only when it was brought to light, acknowledged and confessed, was it completely forgiven. 
ask God to reveal to your heart what your rhythms and routines may be revealing. If you are believing lies about yourself or even about God that aren't true, pour it out to God. If you're hiding a secret sin that needs to be brought into the light, do it today. God is faithful to forgive and the weight of it will be lifted and your heart made new. That's the truth. Allow your routines to be shaped by truth. When you live in that kind of rhythm, peace will follow. I'm Lori Klein.